Here we go. Oh, we got a little bit of chirpy chirp. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it sort of just groans at you like it's working hard because it's... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Driven Dave here. We've got a very special, special car and a special uh, Driven Dave pal. This is Danny. Say hi to everybody. Hello, everybody. Yeah, so Danny's been nice enough to share his rig with us today, the 2022 Honda Insight. EX, the base model, the base nice model. one. This the is, lowest of the low. <laughs> this is the one you want, you know. Uh, really nice car. Uh, we're down here in beautiful somewhere. Carlsbad? Carlsbad. Yeah. Carlsbad. Really nice. We had a nice drive down here uh, in the Insight Hybrid. And so we're just going to walk around the car, tell you a little bit about it. Uh, Danny just got this car. July. July, that's July of, right. Uh, 2022. Yeah, and he he got it back when it was really hard to get a car Especially and hybrids. Yeah. yeah, and and I remember all the phone calls he had with various dealerships and going through different brokers and this and that and um he got really like a pretty good deal for the time that he bought it. Yeah, at the time you couldn't get anything for MSRP, but just I got it for a little bit over right MSRP depending on if you talk to the dealership or Honda themselves but everybody was pretty shysty with trying to sell me these things oh any hybrid for that matter it was disgusting yeah. like I, I just remember all the things you told me about you know how they would just tell you like oh well that car doesn't exist and no and we don't have that car we don't have that yeah. price and this awesome. and that and there was one dealership actually down here that i was going to buy one of these from because of true car they said it was going to be one price and then when you actually call them even though true car is supposed to guarantee it it ends up being a lot more expensive but yeah and i was going to drive all the way down here and get it but i didn't end up doing that i ended up getting it in carson instead well that worked out great and you know uh, one thing that worked out really great, and I just wanted to share this with our viewers, um, he was able to find a dealership that was able to just charge him way more than they're supposed to, but at least they gave him tinted windows, all weather floor mats. So you could say it's not base model because yeah. maybe the tinted windows, is that how that Sure. Works? Probably not. And it's, you know, it's nice tint. That's how I would do it. Yeah, uh, they tinted everything too. They did the front, back, and rear window. The other dealership that I was going to go through wasn't going to tint the front. They were only going to do the back because probably that's a legal thing. But they uh, they did it anyway, and it's a good tint. Yeah, right? yeah. So. Kept us nice and comfortable. Yeah. Uh, you can see <clears throat> for the shoes, we're sporting some Michelins, the the green X or the X green. I don't know what you want to call them. Uh, nice tire with a lot of sidewall. I mean, really, folks, if you're looking at something to be comfortable look for something like this you want some sidewall you know and especially in a daily driver that's that's what's going to give you a nice ride 215.55 r16 these really aren't going to cost you all that much when it's time for new ones uh you really don't see a lot of things in a 16 nowadays uh and i i'm a fan of 16s because it gives you a little more again like that you you fill out that uh fender space with with sidewall instead of wheel and I think that's a better way to do it. Um, and I actually thought these were 17s, so I, I think they're pretty nice looking 16s. Um, nice black paint will show. I, I, I have some B-roll of, of like the interior stuff, but yeah, we'll open the trunk. Really big trunk. And on a hybrid, I mean, look at that. Can fit like, what'd you say, six trombones? No, four trombones. Four trombones and six pizzas. Six pizzas. Yeah. And disc golfs. Yeah. Or disc, wait, I don't have, disc, disc yeah, golfs. Those are the discs. <laughs> yes. These didn't come with the car, unfortunately. Oh, they These didn't? just my private collection. But this, sorry, I don't this, have my whole bag. But the trombone did, right? The trombone, yeah, well, you cannot drive off the lot without the yeah. trombone. They gotta get rid of them somehow, so yeah, you gotta take the trombone. Yeah, and a little, little music humor for you out there. <laughs> those of you trumpet players are watching, you know, I would imagine this would come with at least four old Zambassadors. <laughs> Uh, and a euphonium. Uh, yeah. And a euphonium. <laughs> uh, being a base model, it's not a soft close. It just, it just, no, it's a it, close. You really, yeah. yeah you it just does, have, the remote can't open it though. Anyway, oh, well, that's. It does have that yeah. feature, you know. 
Now, we've got a little running joke at work that I don't drive base model cars and <laughs> base models make me sick. So, you know, we're just going with that. It's all in good fun. I know it's hard for him to review a base model car, but <laughs> I'm glad he did anyway. Yeah, you know, I'm going to power through just because we're friends. Uh, we're going to take a look under the power barn here. It's a, there's a lot of stuff in here. I don't think you can even see the ground from it. See. Lots of buff horses. I don't know, open it very often, as you can tell. <laughs> well, look at that. Lots of plastic. <laughs> a lot of plastic. Ooh, that's a good sound. <laughs> that's supposed to be that. Wow. Oh, cool. I'm sure that won't get fragile and crack. That's cool. Uh, wow. Oh, it smells like new car in here. Still, yeah, yeah. They keep the new car smell in these ones. Yeah. You don't smell it in the car, but you smell it under the hood. That's the important part. <laughs> <laughs> wow oh look at that little metal pan down there uh and you said this is what a 1.5 liter 1.5 liter yeah yeah oh yeah sure enough that's yeah. where it says it right there 1.5 yeah. and it's the uh 6 l2 a70 i i'm assuming is the engine code sounds about right yeah and uh yeah it's not very fast but it you know it goes it starts Ooh, it's traceable too <laughs> good that's good that's, oh, that was probably part of the upsell, right? Yeah. That's cool. As well in the orange, all the colors they got here. <laughs> that, uh, Danny, I'm pretty sure that's the high voltage cable. Because <laughs> <Like, laughs> it is a hybrid. Uh, yeah. And the, battery. there's that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it looked a lot cleaner when I got it. Yeah, it's still really nice. I'm just, you know, one thing that I wonder about all of these newer cars is... Just all of these plastic pieces. I mean, I guess they're not that hard to change. Everything's right up top. So when they do crack, it's right up top. <laughs> it's not, a, well, I mean, you know, in all seriousness. And yeah. and those of you that, you know, are familiar with like the Ford 4.6 modular V8s, like those plastic intake manifolds all crack. Um, even if you have the updated ones, those crack too. Ask me how I know. <laughs> um, you know, but it's, but the nice thing about plastic, they're easy to make. They save a lot of weight and, uh, you know, yeah, but it's just, you know, with all the new cars, you you just see so much plastic now. Yeah. Um, but you know, you got to hand it to Honda. Everything is kind of within, within sight and, you know, really standardized fasteners. And I mean, it's probably not going to break. And if it does, like you'll be able to, to get it fixed. Right. So that's really nice. Okay, well that was a nice underhood <coughs> underhood tour. Here we go. This right here. You have to close this by yourself. Oh right? god, no. Yeah, I know. Nope. Nope. We'll try that yeah, again. Too gentle. And Danny's also a disc golf champion. Absolutely. Uh, as you can tell by how he shut the <laughs> shut the hood there. Yeah. Third uh, place. <laughs> third place. <laughs> I really like the front bumper. I think it's a really like kind of sporty it does it looks sportier than you would expect for a, a hybrid that you know. it looks kind of angry like you know like like, like it's squinting a little bit like it is, well, it is squinting if you, yeah if you look close enough. yeah and it, it almost has a mustache if you look yeah but sometimes you have to remove the mustache not because you want to but because you have to unfortunately yeah that's sad i wish it had a mustache yeah maybe me too. one day someday well can we get this on the road, Danny, yeah, and see what there. see what happens? So immediately, what's what's nice is that uh, Danny and I are both, you know, about the same stature. Yeah. So I'm pretty comfy here. You know, I don't have to move anything. So comfy. That was one thing that I looked for is that I did not want a car where I'd have to be hitting my head on the ceiling the whole time. Oh yeah. We could not have that. Yeah, there's plenty of headroom. Visibility really, well, it's not great. No. All the cars now, you know, the, the back end comes up real high. So you can't, from where you're sitting, you can't really see what's behind you. Right. That's, that's why we have cameras and sensors and all of that. Um, one thing that I'm kind of curious about as we start driving here is like, all of these controls, I've never quite understood the whole Honda thing. So yeah. 
Um, and I assume these are regen paddles, is that correct? Yeah, those are the regen paddles. So if you want to slow down, charge your battery, it's almost downshifting. Not really. Right. You know, when it's funny when they sold it to me, they didn't know what they were talking about. <laughs> so they told me it was you know just for shifting, and then but no, that's not really what you want to use it for. It's but just for shifts it, and giggles. Yeah, it's, ah. it's part of the sport mode here, as you can. Oh yeah, we'll get into that. We got this, and we got EV mode too. It does, yeah. Which is cool. So one thing I noticed while we were driving. You know, Danny knows where these buttons are. <laughs> I, I would, if I had to do a quick, like, reverse and drive, I'd be like, ah, uh, duh. <laughs> Anybody who's ever driven my car never knows where the buttons are. They can never find it. See, uh, see and the parking brake just released itself. I didn't know it would do that, actually. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Do you use brake hold? I do use brake hold. Yeah. It's nice. I like it if I'm at stoplights all the time, because then I don't have to keep my foot on the brake pedal. Do you so, mind holding this? Absolutely. Thank you, my Danny. My pleasure. It's just, you know, it's not my rig, so I don't want to... No, 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 I'll... Uh, you know, oftentimes I will do my own filming, but it's nice if also, I don't Well, it's tough when you have a car with this much power as well, oh, right. this much speed yeah. and torque. You know, you want to have both hands on that wheel just in case it takes off on you. Naturally. Now, I'm kind of curious. I'm going to throw her into EV mode. Oh, mm -hmm. engine's too cold? Too cold. It does. It'll Too cold, or if you don't have enough charge, it won't really do it. But uh, once, what, which is weird because we just drove it for two hours. Yeah, but, that's you know, that's yeah, like more than two hours. Yeah. Um, well, I guess you were probably using the battery more than the engine. Yeah, I try to. I try, I try to do that. All right, so we're we're getting out here. Let me go ahead and just let me get in it a little bit. Wow. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a multi-step. Uh, it you have to persuade it. Yeah, you floor it, and there's it s starts to go a little bit, and then it sort of kicks in and revs up. Should I go this way? Yeah, that'll take you to PCH if you want to. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. that's back where the beach was. And that is yeah. at the beach. Yeah, that's so nice. So it is. It is. Well, and it, it is in the eco mode. You know, it keeps the RPMs lower. So that's part of it. If you put it in a regular driving mode or sport mode, it does go has a little more pickup. But in the eco mode, it keeps it. Yeah. keeps it lower which is why it feels so sluggish but that is a little disconcerting sometimes well i you know the one thing that i'm noticing kind of like right off the bat you know things that i like you know good driving position comfortable seat plenty of headroom yeah i like the steering wheel it feels really good in my hands um the suspension very compliant you know it, it doesn't make a lot of fuss when you go over a bump yeah um it's just you know you could you could just spend hours in this car and it and i do yeah and it it soaks up the the road really well you know you just feel like i mean oddly enough when you think honda insight you think oh that's probably just a dinky little crappy car or whatever i mean and i'm just going off of like what the insight used to be right right because it was a dinky little car and ugly well, it was the know, it was the one well it had the wheel the wheel covers on it which was uh yeah, I mean, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, <laughs> you know, for sure. And I'm sure some of our audience loves that car. So, you know, and I, I don't blame you. Uh, I see a lot of them out there still. Yeah. I will run across old insights all the time, so. Hey, man, you know, Hondas are great, like, period. Uh, I've never been a Honda guy, but I've always been, like, Honda curious. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it, they're really, um, you know, they're they're popular for a reason. They hold their value for a reason. I picked the best the best way to go here. This is really you good. did, yeah. yeah. I forgot to warn you. This this will back up like this. Should I go the other way? Well, you can. Yeah. You can always flip a flip a uh, <laughs> U turn. A U turn is what <laughs> is what you call it. Ooh, there's a C4 Corvette coming. Uh, I'll try and get check that out in that the light shot. on that. That is. Yeah. There she goes. It's at least an 86. I'm not sure. Well, maybe we can race it if we catch back up to it. We can well, see we if they want to. probably beat it because they... I'm sure it's barely running. <laughs> uh, but, you know, what I what I was going to say is, like, this car is just bigger and more comfortable than what you would what you would expect out of an inside. Yeah. And that's what I was telling Danny on the way down is that when he told me what he got, I was like, hi. I know. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, man, that's a, that's a nice looking car. Like, it's... It, the lines are nice it's you know it's got a good style uh you know it's sporty yet it blends in yet it's also flashy you know right. it's, it's kind of all of those things at once you could take this car anywhere <clears throat> and it it really does soak up the miles like it's a good highway cruiser yes um so i really do like that 
Um, the things I don't like just kind Probably of right, turn right here. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, things I don't like, uh, I, I do wish the visibility were a little bit better. Like it's it's kind of hard to tell where the car ends and begins. Yeah. Um, yep. Yep. You know, which is just my impression. That's how I've been driving it for a while, and I still feel that way yeah, about it. Yeah, that's how I felt about my Kia. Like I never, I mean, I had that for like four years, and I didn't know, I didn't know the dimensions. It does have with the because I never use the rear view cameras right. on well, uh, well, because my old truck didn't have rear view cameras, obviously. Um, but I do now because, and it has different settings in it where you can look right, you know, right straight down on the car when you're parallel parking and see oh, exactly how you're cool. closing. So I do. I, I do like that. That's really cool. Well, I kind of want to see that. I've, I've had to get used to it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to pretend like we're going to park here. Yeah. Ooh, and this is for sale. Look at that. Ooh. Nice Ford Ranger. Ooh. So we're gonna this hit. is pretty good. Oh, cool. So you can change. So you can change the settings. So oh, that's the that. top-down view so you can see exactly where the car is behind you. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. So that I do like when I'm parallel parking and whatnot. Okay. That's, I've gotten used to using the rear view camera now now i'm into it yeah. I, I get the hype you know? oh that's great i i really like that yeah no that that just made this car go <laughs> in my book uh, just to have that well as far as visibility because backing up and parking was an issue but now oh. if you use that it's not nearly as bad and i think i could hear the boys choir you, you can hear there's a young boys choir a, a choir of castrati i like to call it <laughs> that you can hear singing Oh, this worked out well. So we got to this dead end. This <laughs> but this is, so there's the traffic that we were in before. Best test drive ever. Uh-huh. That's a, uh, but yeah, let's, let's see if we can hear the Castrati. Um, you able to capture that? We may even have to do some D-roll with Castrati later. Yeah, it's a, oh, yeah, it's, it's about that pitch if you're for yeah, friends at home that want to. If you've seen my, uh, review of the Honda Clarity, <laughs> we also, we also talked about that. Uh, and it was just so great because my friend Bennett was like, he's like, yeah, my car sings. Like, it's really, <laughs> it was like, you know, but he's like, it only does it, you know, when it's fully charged. And, you know, uh, it was, it was so fun. I, I just had such a good time. That is adorable. Yeah. Although it's not the, you know, most cool thing when you're rolling into a parking lot and your car is singing to the other people. But, you know, well, they, you know, agree to disagree. You get used to it. I, I mean, I guess there's nothing not cool about having a young boys choir in your car. No, I. I mean, my Tesla doesn't have that. Wow. Yeah. Oh. It, it just goes, you know, that's all it, my, my car. Well, oh, maybe the base model Tesla has that. Oh, here, <laughs> here's a pretty truck. Oh. Volume. All right, we're rolling? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're back. We're back. Sorry about that. A little, little technical controversy there. We're okay. I hit the, yeah, I hit a button. Um, so, yeah, we were talking about the, the boys' choir. Yeah. Which, of course... Is what you're looking for yeah when you, when you buy a car in a new car yeah um but yeah and, and the, the other thing that i just kind of didn't like about the car that's what i was talking okay. about uh is is the engine noise it's not inspiring somehow. right and it's it's loud and bad sometimes you know <laughs> it's just <laughs> yeah, it sort of makes an unpleasant so we'll sound. Do, we'll do a little sport, sport mode. mode. You can tell it's in sport. Oh my gosh, yeah, let's go back. So yeah, we got the green because we're saving the planet. And now let, let's let it burn. Yeah. Just burn all the dino juice. Get the speed racer. Yeah. Wow, Which there's might... like a trolley coming at us. Huh. Why is there a trolley? Well, I'm not sure, actually. That's kind of cool. Nope. We chose the best ways to go. This is a great drive. That's the only problem with like reviewing an area you don't know. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got a little bit of chirpy chirp. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, it sort of just groans at you like it's working hard because it is. It's, yeah. It's not like it doesn't go. It, right. That's the funny thing. It's like, it's not fast. And it's kind of slow, but <laughs> but it, it does get going. It's got a little zip to it. Yeah, yeah, like when you showed me earlier, like back back when we were in our area. Yeah. Like it, you know, by the time you wound it out, like we were going pretty fast. Yeah. You know, it's just you kind of have to be a little patient. And, and so I don't know. It's like if you were, I suppose if you were in a hurry, you'd put it into sport. Yeah. I mean, I never really need it. Sometimes I want a car to go and I want it to go quickly and I want to feel the car. So that can be a little disappointing that I don't 
This one is just a little weak, but you know. Well, yeah, this is just one of those cars that you can drive it every day for a long time and you know, it's going to kind of insulate you from from the outside. Right. And that's, you know, that's what it does best, you know. Um, so, let's see. I'll I'll do a 20 punch. There we go. Yeah, 40, 45. <laughs> but, I mean... <laughs> Zero to 45, and not, well, 20 eventually, to 45. Yeah, eventually, eventually, yeah. But really, like, I mean, we had no problem overtaking this traffic. No. It, it totally got out of the way. Yep. So, you know, do you need more power than that? I don't know. Like, no. I don't need it. That's fine. Oh, look oh, out. Ugh. Really good brakes. Yeah. Why Why, why would why you stop here? here? This is a you bad... idiot. That, so this is a what a dumb driver does yeah. and what dumb people crossing a really busy... Well, even they looked at him like, yeah. what, what are you doing? So you, yeah, you don't want to stop for people like that because then that's how everybody hits each other. Yeah. Wow. Well, that was kind of cool. But the brakes are good. The brakes are great. And and the thing right here, it just said brake. It, like, it, does, it does warn you, which is nice. Yeah. And I do like, I like the feel of the brakes in this car. I, I do too. That is, it's quick. Yeah, it's like, it's very responsive. Like, the, the pedal is... Uh, you know, it's light but responsive. Yeah. And uh, and it it hauls this car down to to nothing in no time. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try the ooh the little the little regen. That's fine. yeah. You feel it? Yeah. Oh, I see. So you can you can go back up if you want to get out of it. So basically, like you set it, and it'll just regen when you get off the gas. Right. That's I what it's doing. You can see in the charge. I don't know if you can right. see it there, but the char it'll charge more, especially if you're going down a hill or something. And if you don't want to use the brakes necessarily, just tap in the brake, you can hit the regen down and it'll just charge a little more steadily. That's great. And it's it's a progressive regen. Yeah. So, you know, it, it starts gentle and then adds more. I wish like right now it would add more so that we didn't have to use the brake. Right. You know, that that's the only thing that's like a little bit, I don't want to call it disappointing, uh, but like you really can't one pedal drive this car. No. It's, you have to use the brake. Yep. I'm going to use brake hold. I do like the brake hold. That's a good feature. Brake hold's awesome. Yep. Um, we were jamming out to some tunes on the way down here. Uh, Jack T. Garden. For those of you that don't know, Jack T. Garden. <laughs> they know. I'm sure they know Jack uh, T. Garden. I'm probably just the only one that didn't. Famous trombonist. Yeah. Really, really good. And we discovered a really great trumpet player, Don Goldie. Yeah. So, you see, we try to cover... Oh, what am I saying? We try to cover everything <laughs> on the channel here. Uh, the whole experience. We've got a little power outlet here. Yeah. Um, I, I expect... I don't know why I thought I'd see like a three-prong thing. And I was like, oh, that it's would be just nice. the regular. And then you got just your two one. USBs. So you have to plug into the top one to so connect that's, that's it to the, the car. Yeah, yeah, to the and car play. This is charge only, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but nice little touch screen. Very responsive. Look at that. Yeah. That's great. The touch screen is great. And the Apple CarPlay is really good. Look at the power flow. Isn't that cool? It looks like the flux capacitor. It from, is. You know, back to the future. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty intuitive little system here. The steering wheel controls, I don't find to be very intuitive. Like, I haven't, you know, I haven't had a Honda before. Uh, so that's, you just set the adaptive cruise control there. Okay, and how do I turn on the... Lane assist is right, this button. Oh, okay, so I have to turn that on? Yeah. Oh, I see. So... And once it goes solid... Solid, that means it sees the lanes. I see. And why doesn't it see the lanes? They're right here. See, I don't know. There's something about the sun that does it because it... Especially, I notice because you know, the camera's up here, obviously. Yeah. But it uh, at night it'll catch the lanes. I think it gets the reflectors, and so it really knows. But during the day, it doesn't always get it. Yeah, that's a little. That's a little. Funny. Yeah, I don't really get that, but I don't really use it. I only use it on the freeway mainly. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you're not going to yeah. really be doing much auto steer on the on the road here. But, <laughs> right. But yeah. I, I there, yeah I don't understand how it works, but at night it'll see it pretty much every time, which is nice. But man, those brakes grab like right now. I know, I love that. I, I'm I'm having to kind of get used to it. Like, uh, I mean, of course, in my Tesla, like I don't really even need the brake pedal, but you know, that's cool. No brake pedal. <laughs> it brakes for you, does it? It does. The the next video we do, Danny, and I haven't told you yet, you're going to drive my car. Oh. So we're going to get your impressions. Ooh. Because uh, that that'll be interesting too. I'll bring my driving gloves in my uh, in my dunce cap. Yeah. <laughs> 
absolutely. In my I Love Elon shirt. Oh, God. I think you have one of those. Well, I could borrow yours. We're the same size. I'm sure you have extras. That way you could wear one for every day of the week. All right, I'm just going to go on record here. I'm a little nervous saying this, but... I'm not really enjoying the Tesla community the way I enjoy the car community. It's just, it's different. Those aren't car people. That's all I'll say. There are some lovely Tesla people, but not all of them. <laughs> yeah, I can name, let me think. Um, oh, hmm. you know, I actually, I can't think of any right now <laughs> off the top of what my head. What about me? Oh, right, right, right. Yes. Uh, and, and, uh, and your friend Baby Doll. And Baby Doll yeah. also drives a Tesla, yeah. and she loves it, yeah. yeah. And also that name. Yeah, oh, she's going to love it. <laughs> we should send her this video. Yeah, That'd absolutely. Yeah. Um, let's see. We're, we're here in historic Carlsbad. This is like the travel vlog I don't portion. know if I'm supposed to zoom, but I zoomed. Okay, well, I'll trust you <laughs> with your artistic... Uh, you know. I'm a trauma player. I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, wait, so artistic <laughs> is usually not part of the... Well, that's okay. You, you do you do your thing. That's fine. Um, ooh, there's a little MX-5 there pulling an illegal U-turn. That's nice. That's what they do. That's what they do. I think I'm going to pull a U-turn up here. Yeah. Uh, even though I'd love to go through historic Carlsbad, I'm kind of over it already. Yeah, that's. I mean, you've seen the good parts. I mean, should we... There's a, hmm. Should we route our way to Tip Top? At this tip Top, point? yeah, yeah. Let's That's go to Tip. Well, head back to. We were actually pretty close to Tip Top oh, okay. earlier, so I just wasn't sure how far we were. We're gonna go have meats. Oh, at tip Top be meats. So good. If anybody's ever been to Tip Top in Carlsbad, you know what I'm talking about. Great meat market. Oh, red light. No. Uh, let's see. See, luckily he, I have the Danny guidance. Right. I, the Tesla might have told you about that, but in the Honda Insight, um, I'll just I'll let you know about the red lights. More I got a, it. More of a base model guidance. That's okay. I know that is. Yeah, <laughs> it um, gets the job done. Our viewers are, you know, there are a lot of inside jokes here, so I, I apologize, <laughs> uh, but we're just having too much fun here. I hope you understand. Oh, this is. I'm not sure what that does. Well, this when you have like the. So I think the touring. You yeah. can get the yeah the garage door thing there. But this is kind of funny. Like I know. Why I've didn't they put something? I mean, it's it's one thing to just have dummy. They call this a dummy switch. Yeah. Um, but they make you feel like a dummy because they don't even attach it. Yeah. That's, that's not well, cool. Well, maybe I'll put something on there. Well, you sure you could. That's yeah. probably like the Bluetooth mic. I was a little disappointed to find out that you couldn't even just connect a, a garage door opener. Oh. to it you need like the base model doesn't come with that you're gonna get the touring for that but it's too bad you know not that i have a garage well, yeah but if you did <laughs> what if i did you know you would want to connect it exactly. exactly i was impressed actually just for like a base model stereo that you've got you got the 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 tweeters up here and that's very nice and uh, those sound and they sound good it sounds pretty good it's a good little sound system and the, the no, when I talk on the phone to people, they always say they can't tell I'm in the car, so that's nice. It's that's, got good, yeah. you know, extra noise canceling or whatever that is. Yeah, that's really good. Like, it would be nice to have a center channel uh, to add just a little bit more clarity the, to the music. But, uh, but again, it's really not, it's not bad at all. Uh, I wish we could play some music, but we can't. I, I could, yeah. My phone's in my pocket. Yeah. Well, but we, we re literally can't oh. for copyright, oh. you know. Sorry, YouTube. Yeah, sorry. Um, but take my word for it. It's pretty nice. Looks like uh, if I press your trip button, I'm just going to press all your buttons here. Yeah. Okay, so we're showing 16,000 miles on the clock. Yeah. So you can scroll through on the steering wheel is how you scroll through the trips. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So there are two ways to do that. <laughs> just that's, that's to be intuitive. Yeah, to be nice and intuitive. Again, the steering feels just... You know, it's light, it's easy, it's a little bit mushy, but it's very direct. Yeah. Um, and I and I just mean light and mushy in like an easy, it's easy, you know. Um, so I like it. And it's, you know, on a car like this where you're going to be just driving it, like this is how I want my steering to feel. I don't need it to feel like I'm in a Porsche or whatever. Right. Like, I just, I want steering that's easy. Or a 20-year-old Tacoma. Right? Yeah. yeah. Or a 25-year-old Lexus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice dog. That's a good-looking dog. All right. No hurry. <laughs> Get out of my way. Could have tried the horn there and shown what the horn sounds like. Let's <laughs> see, if, see if the dog jumps. <laughs> it wouldn't. It's a sad little horn, actually. There's a 
How do I turn off the blinkers? Well, stop. Oh, they just, they do the whole... No, I mean, no, you if you go down and then back up. Right, I see. Yeah, just like any nor well, normal car. Well, but if you tap them, they blink, what, four or five times? I think so. If you just yeah. give it a little tap, I don't really use that feature. There's a Ford Taurus police interceptor behind us. Oh. Uh, I can't tell if it's, like, in service or not. You just don't see that many of them. They're all, you know, the, the Explorer, which I think is, you know, a stupid play. Oh, wait, I would Yeah, I, I do find that I wish Regen was a little more aggressive. Yeah, but I don't really use... I wonder if it is in eco mode. I don't know. Well, yeah, let's... I'll put it back into... It's not something the, I ever actually really use. Save the planet mode. And... Uh, you gotta be driving for it to go, yeah. I guess. Brake hold is awesome. I do right. wish that's a feature that would just stay on all the time. Right. I, I don't know why you have to turn that on every time you drive the car. Is that correct? Yeah, you do have to, you turn it, yeah, you do have to turn it on. I actually, I mean, I don't use it all the time, so I wouldn't want it on all the time, I guess. Okay. You know, because sometimes if I come to a stop for a second, I don't want to have to get out, so I don't want to have to, like, I don't know, it feels like it gets stuck when I have to go hit the gas oh, again, yeah. but, you know. Wow, in eco mode, this is a different car. It's It drives so different in the eco mode. Yeah. It is really sluggish. Yeah, but oh. I don't hate it. I, I, I think it's kind of nice. Um, I think it's kind of nice for, for stop and go. Like, yeah. You really don't want something that's going to go. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't need that. I don't mind it. And I like, if I keep it real low, it'll stay in... Uh, Stay in EV. Stay in. Uh, you might be able to turn on EV mode if it's oh, it has yeah. enough power. Let's see. Yeah. So EV mode. EV mode is on. So, but if you go too fast, if you get the oh, RPMs right. too high, then it'll switch out of it. Oh, and but, it's it's steering for me. Oh yeah. So now lane assist is is working. Yeah. See, I don't know why it sees the lanes here, and not other times, but you know. Oh, and now it now it doesn't. Yeah. See, that's a little weird. Because yeah. It, it didn't really. It, you know, it's not like you can kind of. And I hate to say zone out, but it's not like you can zone out and just go like, oh, well, lane keep is on. Yeah. Because it was on and then it wasn't on. And it doesn't beep at you or anything. It's not like it really tells you other than that thing. Right. That's why I don't trust it a whole lot. I trust yeah. it more at night, but maybe that's what they want to. It's just to have, you know, have your hands near the steering wheel all the time. Well, and I press this button over here. And so it says road departure mitigation. Mm. <laughs> what a... Don't really know what that is. What a nice word. I mean, I, I guess that means like if you start drifting over, it'll it'll throw you back. Right. It'll usually if you start drifting out, it'll beep at you too. Blind spot info system is on. Collision mitigation braking system is on. Yeah, I think I have all that on. All these big words. I see. And so you do everything with this like scroll wheel here. That's what I saw. And then if you hit home, you can go through. I do like uh, on the Hondas the the maintenance is good because it'll tell you when you need your oil change. That is nice. So it's, you know, they say to bring it in and around 20%, 15% or something like that. Okay. And that it's pretty accurate. So that's nice. Yeah. Instead of, you know, always having to check your, I mean, still check your oil, but, you yeah, know. Yeah, but in a car this new, you're probably okay. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I do like that, though. And then I know exactly when I should bring it in but instead of guessing. Here's what's impressive to me. 49.7 miles per gallon. Yeah. On something that's not even a plug-in. And yeah. you've got plenty of leg room. Plenty of, plenty of trunk space. I mean, this car is, it's it's really a pretty fantastic package overall. You know, for a, just a little hybrid that's getting me somewhere, getting me better gas mileage, not electric, wasn't crazy expensive. I love it. I'm super happy with it. And I like driving it. And it saves my hips and my legs, you know, as yeah. taller guys driving cars. If you're using your feet all the time on the yep. pedals, you get exhausted. So this yep. really helps. So stay left here. But yeah, that's, and that's how I really feel too. Like you want something that's going to save all of those things that you just talked about yeah. or that's going to be easy for you. Uh, especially like for us in Southern California, we're going pretty long distances, a lot of traffic. Um, or even if you're in like, I mean, like I grew up in central Texas and I was going long distances, uh, with just a lot of like open stretches of road. You want something that's comfy, you yeah. know, where you can stretch your legs out and, you know, just just post up. Uh, how is this for napping? Like, do you do you take any naps in here? I don't. You're gonna turn right at not this light, but that next light. 
Um, I'm not a big napper anyway, but no. I well, I have had sometimes if I get to something early, I'll just lay down, you know, yeah. sort of lay down in it, and it's comfortable. It's super yeah. comfortable. I got plenty of leg room, so not this light, the next light. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'm I'm a big time car nap guy. Yeah, it, it's probably not as comfortable as a Tesla, you know, for that kind of thing. But well, you know. I don't know. I I can see I can see myself taking a nice nap in here. Yeah, I've laid I've laid all the way down here. Oh, it's pretty oh, nice, this huh? Is, yeah, this. Yeah, this and it's got plenty of you know like uh, butt room. Is that what you call yeah. it in the in the car world? Yeah, you call yeah. it butt room. You know, it's it's plenty wide enough so your arms aren't all cramped. And yeah, I've never felt cramped, and I'm a pretty big guy. But it is a little low, so getting in and out of it can be a little tricky sometimes. But yeah, but it's got a nice big opening, and yeah, and I think like the angle of the seat and everything makes it pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, oh, and and you've got the little you can jack the seat like yeah, this. exactly. That's also nice. That's right. That's yeah. great. Yeah, because, well, when I first got in it to test drive one, it was all the way up, and I'm like, oh, this car's not going to work for me, you know, because my head sure. was touching the ceiling, and then but then I after I lowered it, I was pretty happy. So I'm going to make a left up here in a little bit. I just love the boys' choir when you go slowly. I, yeah, I wish we could hear that. So there's Tip Top Meats right there. Oh, there it is. Meat Market, yeah. German Deli. So you're going to turn left in there. Okay, cool. Eventually, you can go around. You know, we're yeah. taking the scenic route. This is kind of like going to a gig. Yeah. I like to put my eyes on the gig. Yes. And then I come, you know, then I'm like, okay, now I can get my coffee. Yeah. Because I know where the gig is. You know where the gig is. That's just how I am, you know. <laughs> Those the same of you, way. yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't care what it is. I don't care how early I am. I'm going to find the gig first. I want to look at it. Then yeah. I want to go do my things. Yeah. And then put come my back. eyes on it. Go like, I'm going to park there. I'm going to go in there. Right. Although yeah. we didn't do that with the gig we're going to today. Well. But we did it with dinner before the gig. Well, right? I mean, <laughs> let's just say you do that with the important part of the gig. Now, you may have noticed Dave had to manually raise his seat up, which I'm sure he was not happy about <laughs> being in a... A base model car where you have to do that. I'm going to be sick. That is one of the things. As a base model boy that I am, I don't really mind that kind of thing. But, you know, I can understand how people want the electric controls on the seats. Now, I do... I kind of like manual seats. Oh. Don't tell anybody. I won't. You know, because it's... You know, people know that I'm deluxe. I'm like a limited kind of guy. You know. But, but I... I... I you know, did you see how quick I was in napping position? Yeah. Just wham! It does just slam back, yeah. you know? Yeah. And there's something nice about that. You have control over it, you know? I was thinking what would be kind of cool, Danny, is perhaps you could hop out for a second. And, and get a little... Uh, we get a little boys choir. Yeah, let's let's get the choir to sing you know, for you. I'll drop you off up here. Okay. And then I'll just, like, cruise by. Oh, it also is really aggressive about it the seatbelt. It does you that. You didn't tell me it talks. And it won't stop talking until you fasten the seatbelt. Oh, not like the terrific. old cars that just let you do it. All right, so I'll leave, I'm going to leave the choir director here. Okay. And we'll wait for the young boys choir to come back. <laughs> oh. I forgot you need the keys. You can. Here, let me see. I heard it turn on for a second, so let me. I'm, I'm gonna get up near the front. Okay. And that's... There he is. There's our choir of Castrati singing to us. Here they come. Beautiful performance of the Carlsbad oh. Young Boys Choir under the direction of <laughs> Driven Dave. I could I could hear this car was singing like a birdie. <laughs> I mean, it was oh, it was great. The crowd went wild. Yeah, that was awesome. Well, you know, I I'm just trying to think if there's anything we haven't covered. It looks like we got auto lights. We've got. Um, um, do you have the 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 windshield wipers? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> The intermittent wipers. What does the, that mean? Well, you know, where, where it, it's got to have intermittent wipers. Yeah, it does. Yeah, oh, where you control the speed? Well, not just the speed, but, you know, you can make it wait. 
I think so. I don't know what that means. Maybe I'll have to learn what that is. Yeah, okay, it, it has it. Don't worry about it. You're fine. Okay. You're, you're just a base model. I, 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 I don't under. I, you know, I drive old base models, so having a new base model is a new thing for me. Kind of weird. Uh, that's what's pretty cool about this car. Like, if you get the base model, you still get adaptive cruise. You get the lane keep assist. You get CarPlay. Apple CarPlay. Android, YouTube. yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, that really slick... Uh, back camera, the talking car, uh, buckle up, Danny. Oh, Jeez. sorry, sorry. Uh, you know, it's not every bell and whistle that you could possibly ask for, but it's a lot, man. Like this thing, this thing is really well, really well equipped. I'm sure with the touring, you get leather, probably heated and cooled seats. Yeah. Um, but I can't imagine it would have that much more stuff that would make it. No, I think it's a little longer. I think it might be a little bigger. Is it? it usually. No? I mean, you you feel that way. Huh. You know, it's like, you know, it's like if you're the kind of guy that wears a tie. So oh, that's tip There's tip top again. We're just getting it from all angles. Yeah. I, I wish it had some side view cameras. That would be nice. Yeah. It doesn't have that. Uh, so that... maybe the Touring gives you that. And a lot of the new Hondas, they at least have a passenger side uh, camera where it shows up in the gauge pod, which is cool. Uh, I gotta get out of the way. Come on, car. So you look at that. Yeah, no problem. And now we're gonna go eat meat. It's gonna be wonderful. Third time's the charm. Yeah, here we are. We found it. We put eyes on it. We're motivated. We're gonna eat. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Um, so yeah, I think that just about wraps up our little review here of the 2022 Honda Insight. Uh, I would like to extend a huge thank you to my buddy Danny here, who uh, first of all drove me down here today, which was great, and then let me have a go with his rig. This is this is really an honor, Danny. Uh, absolutely. And, oh, and there's Dave uh, and, Costello. And there's there's Dave, Dave, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, thanks for having me, Dave, Driven Dave. I appreciate you having me on the channel with, uh, it's great with my you... base model Honda Insight, and I hope you know. I hope everybody enjoyed learning a little bit about it. And I certainly uh, enjoyed driving it and uh, and learning about it too. Uh, is there anything you'd like to plug, Danny? Uh, I mean, not not a whole lot. I have an Instagram. There's just going to be sort of pictures of disc golf activities and things like yeah. that on there. I think it's just Danny Lawler. Okay, maybe and that's with a W. L A W L O R. Um, so if you want to check out some disc golf action, that's the place to do it. Yep. Other than that, uh, not really. That's right, that's well, about it. So you may find Danny uh, playing the trombone or throwing disc golf at so your favorite place for trombone and disc golf. Yeah. Uh, certainly one of my favorite people. And uh, thank you so much, Danny. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the like button. Show Danny how much you like this car. Uh, hopefully you liked it as much as I did and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and until then stay driven